The Chronicles of Narnia The Silver Chair Written by C.S. Lewis Adapted for the script by Faith Jacobs Featuring the voices of Jack Morby, Emma Nicolau, John Comby, and Jonathan Partlow With additional voices by Nathan Hall The Chronicles of Narnia belongs to C.S. Lewis and the Lewis Estates, respectively. This is a non-for-profit fan audio drama adaptation. All rights belong to their respective creators. Overworlders. However, stay a moment, I cry mercy. I have seen you two fair children and this, um, your strange governor before. Was it not you three that met me by the bridge on the borders of Ettins Moor when I rode there by my lady's side? You were the Black Knight who never spoke. And was that lady the Queen of the Underworld? Was she? Because if it was, I think she'd be jolly mean to send us off to a castle full of giants who intend to eat us. What harm have we ever done to her? I should like to know. How so? If you are not so young a warrior, boy, you and I must have fought to the death on this quarrel. I can hear no words against my lady's honour. But... Of this you may be rest assured, that whatever she said to you, she said of good intent. Though you do not know her, she is a nosegay by all virtues. Truth, mercy, gentleness, courage, and the rest. <laughs> I say what I know. Her kindness to me alone, who can in no way reward her, would make an admirable history. But you shall know it and love her hereafter. <clears throat> now I must ask, what is your errand in the deep lands? Uh, uh, please, we're trying to find what's brilliant of Narnia. Rillian, Narnia. <laughs> what land is that? I have never heard such a name. It must be a thousand leagues from those parts of the overworld that I know. <laughs> Perhaps it was but a strange fantasy that brought you seeking this. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, how do you call him? Billion. Trillion? <laughs> In my lady's realm, indeed, to my certain knowledge, there is no such man here. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> We've been told to look for a message on the stones of the city ruinous. And we saw the words under me. <laughs> you were the more deceived. <laughs> Those words meant nothing to your purpose. If you had but asked my lady, she could have given you better counsel. For those words are all that is left of a longer script, which in ancient times, as she well remembers, expresses this. Though under earth and throneless now I be, yet while I lived, all earth was under me. From which it is plain that some great king of the ancient giants who lies buried there caused this boast to be cut in the stone over his grave, and through the breaking up of some stones, the creation of new buildings, and filling up cuts with rubble, he left only two words that can still be read. Under me. <laughs> Is it not the merriest jest in the world that you should have thought that they were written for you? Don't you mind what he says? There are no accidents, as our guide is Aslan. And he was there when the King of the Giants caused the letters to be cut, and he knew already all the things that would come of them, including this. <laughs> This guide of yours must be a long liver, friend. It seems to me, <laughs> sir, that this lady of yours must be a long liver, too, if she remembers the verse as it was when they first cut it. <laughs> Very shrewd, frog face. And you have hit the truth. My lady is of a divine race, and she knows neither age nor death. I am more thankful to her for all her infinite bounty to such a poor mortal wretch such as I. For you must know, sir, I am a man under the most strange afflictions, and none but the Queen's grace would have the patience with me. <laughs> Patience, said I, but it goes far beyond that, for she has promised me a great kingdom in the overland, and when I am king, her own gracious hand in marriage. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> However, the tale is too long for you to hear fasting and standing. Ho! You there! Bring us wine and up-dwellers' food for my guests. Please be seated, gentlemen and young maiden. You shall hear it all. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Silver Chair Written by C.S. Lewis Adapted for the script by Faith Jacobs, Foley and Music, from freesound.org, featuring the voice talents of Jack Morby as The Knight, John Comby as Puddleglum, Emma Nicolau as Jill, Jonathan Partlow as Eustace, with additional voices by Nathan Hall as Magotharum, the Earthman. Thank you for listening. And I hope that you will join us as we continue our journey into the world of Narnia. All rights belong to their respective creators. Thank you for listening.